Okay, so here we are once again. Um, now we have the motor out of the boat. Okay, so this is the uh, out of the the motor out of the boat version of the Sidewinder here. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we're going to have any trouble getting a new transom in. So now that you see the engine's out of the way, we have a lot of room to work. Okay, and uh, of course the pump is coming. It's going to be coming out. Um, this gasket, the gasket where the pump, the pickup. Uh, goes through the boat that gasket's leaking so um, I could tell just because I had a little bit of drippage while the boat was on the trailer I could see it from un underneath so <clears throat> this all has to come out anyway um, but now you can really get a good idea and see what this transom looks like this is just totally riving out in here and uh, you know what I think one of the things that happened here at some point maybe someone did some service but right behind here is where the rub rail is <clears throat> and uh, so somebody had glassed from the rub rail area right over the transom so any water that was coming in through the rub rail or any kind of uh, hole that was already drilled in the transom it had nowhere to go but down into the transom wood okay so uh, this thing just over the years just wicked up a lot of moisture and um, you can see this is just falling apart I can pull this Okay, this is just old and beat up, and uh, you know this is just go it's all going to get, get ground out of here. So um, the other thing that uh, if anybody's worried about how they're going to measure for these half stringers, uh, I've been thinking about it myself, and uh, what I'm going to probably do is leave part of the. This is where the engine mount is right here, and over on this side too. So I'm probably going to cut out most of the stringer, but leave a couple areas as, as kind of like a jig. So I'm going to cut the entire stringer out, except maybe like a section right here, and then maybe like a section right here. I'm going to leave part of this stringer shell there um, so I can fit the, uh, the new stringer wood in there, and it's going to land exactly where I want it to land. All right, because when you do this, you have to take all kinds of measurements. You know, before you rip things apart, you know, you want to measure the relationship from the stringer to the deck height. Um, you know, it's it's important that you take the measurements because <coughs> you want to make sure that when that motor drops in, it aligns with this pump perfectly. Because um, one one fixed area is the way this pump is in the boat. There's really no way to adjust it. There may be. I just don't know what they are. Um, but so the only latitude you have is with the alignment of the motor. So what, if it was working when you pulled it out, you want to get the stringers aligned exactly where they were when you pulled them out. So if I'm going to chop these stringers out, I need a little bit of a guide to how they're going to go back in. So um, you just you can kind of let just you know, and, and I'm going to learn as I go too. But uh, I've been thinking about this a long time how I'm going to do it, and all the resources online that I've read as well. You know, some guys just chop the stringer out and put new wood in. You know, they'll just chop the stringer out all together. Um, these stringers kind of kind of lean out a little bit. They're not totally straight up and down. And they also don't land right on the chine or right right on the strake. So these, these stringers are actually in the middle of the uh, of the stringer. I mean of the uh, in the middle of the it's it doesn't sit on a chine, okay? So here's the stringer. You can see I'm lining it up right there, okay? It's right over the exhaust pipe. Come back here, right under the exhaust pipe, okay? The stringer lands right here, not up against one of these strakes, okay? So I, w I thought I was going to be able to use this as a guide to put a stringer right up against it, but that's not going to be the case. The stringer lands right in the middle. Right, so that's why with these stringers, I'm going to leave a little section of them so I can properly place these stringers when I put the new ones in. Um, you can also see right here, that's the single stringer right up the middle. There it is right there. You can see how this has just been wicking up water over the years. Okay, and I thought it was a 2x6, but now I can see it's probably just a 2x4 right up in here. 
um, make it bigger as it goes forward, but uh, that's going to be plywood anyway when, we're, when we put the new one in. Uh, so that's all. Just thought I'd give you guys an idea. Uh, this is just something, you know, you have to weigh out the cost, weigh out what you're going to do. Um, people rebuild boats for certain reasons. You've got to figure out what your reason is. This boat just happens to have some sentimental reason, sentimental, uh, um, just some sentimentalism attached to it. Uh, I knew the owner and um, family offered me the boat and uh, I gladly accepted. And, um, you know, I told them they, uh, they wouldn't regret uh, handing it over to me, and I uh, just feel like you got a responsibility to put it back together properly. And uh, I just think it's a cool boat all the way around. So um, you got to figure out what your reason is to uh, to do your repairs. But you know, if you're going to count the hours and if you're going to count the dollars, obviously there's a limit. But um, <clears throat> you can't get too crazy with it because. Uh, um, if you're going to count the hours, you're going to get discouraged. So, you know, if whatever boat you're working on, write down the pros and cons as to why you want to keep it. And, um, and, uh, if you see that rot in the transom or in the stringers, don't be in denial. Just realize that you got to get to it and you got to rip it all out and, uh, just get into it and do it. So, um, next couple of videos, I'll show, uh, how we start. Um, tearing it apart okay so uh, just so anybody might have some curiosity where the stringer or, or where the uh, transom is transom on this boat is right here it's right here and it's flat all the way across all right but inside it starts here okay just on the outside of these these uh, tow hooks okay and uh, and so we're going to chop out all the wood but on the in and oh, this is on the inside mind you and then I'm going to clean all in here on the inside, and we're going to tab it all the fiberglass over there for that to give us strength. So, um, you know, as far as uh, why we got to get the wood out, basically the wood in the boat, you know, the fiberglass boats, it's just it's just a shell of fiberglass with a whole bunch of wood glued to it, basically. And the wood gives it its uh, its uh, its rigidity and its structural integrity and stuff the bolt things too. So. Um, that's why uh, if it's rotten you got to get it out um, what happens with the wood is once the moisture gets into it it just starts wicking through it like a cancer and um, you know it has to be uh, rectified so uh, I hope that's helpful thanks